If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. It's Dr. Boxer Talk, man. So check this out, man. So look, we had, uh, you know, Jerome Boots and it's just recently beat David Avedisian, you know. And, um, you know, I thought it was a pretty impressive win, man. I know a lot of people thought, said, oh, he got hit too much. You know, everybody go critique it a little bit, man. But I thought it was impressive. Uh, and man, shout out to David Avedisian. You know, he's a tough opponent, even though he didn't get a full camp. You know, he was a late replacement. He's still a formidable opponent. I think that it was a nice little step up for, uh, uh, Jerron Boots in this against him but you know with that being said as he was getting praises you know you, with the praise comes detractors as well and criticism and uh, you know Turkey El Sheik, you know Big Turk who's making all the boxing fights happen man and I don't know if you're a boxing fan how can you be mad at Big Turk right now you know and he uh, said that he personally called Eddie Hearn and Jerron Boots in this you know um, to congratulate them on their win and said that he definitely wants to make Boots versus Bud in the near future man the imminent future which would be dope but you know of course Bud has to take care of business against Israel Majumov on August 3rd but we know he's he's if anybody can make these big fights happen it's him you know but then Oscar De La Hoya you know somebody who always wants to steal the attention he don't like when too many where other people get too much attention you know he wants to remind him he's like hey man hold on now you know he said hey <laughs> He said, hey, man, you know, um, hey, Boots, Boots ain't, ain't, ain't the real killer like that, man. I know not one person, but I know two people that have put them paws on Boots. Damn. I'm sorry. He said, man, Virgil Ortiz and Bud beats Boots. You know, and I think that's just funny, man, because, you know, a lot of people said that they wanted to see uh, Boots versus Virgil Ortiz, man. And uh, I don't really want to see that, you know, not yet, because I think that's a future super fight between the two of them. But as of right now, I think Bud not only beats Boots, I think Bud beats Virgil Ortiz as well, because, you know, Boots, while he did pass his test against David Avedijan, um, that was a nice little step up. But, you know, of course, famously, Bud already beat him uh, about a year and a half, two years ago, you know what I'm saying? And um, so I think that um, it doesn't really quite convince me that he could beat Bud at this point, but it did make me feel a little more confident that it'll be a pretty competitive fight. And then with Virgil Ortiz, you know, he's also stepping up his competition on August 10th, right? Uh, a week after Terrence Crawford fights Israel Majumov, you know, August 10th, he's going against Serhi Boachuk. And I think that's a good fight as well, man. I think people are underestimating that because they're unfamiliar with Boachuk. But I think Boachuk is a nice, formidable opponent. I think, I think as an opponent, I think Virgil Ortiz is stepping up a little more. Um, I think Serhi Boachuk is more formidable opponent right now, today, than David Avenesian is. But I, but I like it, man. But you know what I like even more than that? I like the fact that Turkey Alashik responded the only way that's appropriate. He said this. Yeah, he said, bring the smoke, let's see it. So hopefully, man, hopefully he's talking about potentially making that fight between Virgil Ortiz and and and, and Jerome Boots Ennis. Um, I think that's a great fight. Um, but I, like I said, once again, I think it could be a potential super fight for the future. I don't necessarily want it right now. But if, if Bud handles business against Ver, uh, against uh, Israel Madrimov, and then we could potentially make Boots versus Bud, or if we cannot make Boots versus Bud, and Virgil Ortiz beats Serhi Boachuk, I wouldn't be mad if Virgil Ortiz would draw Boots in this, man, you know what I'm saying? But but of course, like I said, Virgil Ortiz, you know, he has to handle some business at 154. Uh, Boots has a lot of business he can handle that at 147. So I think this is a little premature, but I like the fact that we're thinking about it now and it's on the horizon. Um, yeah, let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, man. Do you How do you think uh, Virgil Ortiz and draw Boots in this go? How do you think that fight goes? Um, if they were to fight right now at this moment today, <laughs> That's a tough one, man. I don't even want to pick yet. Nigga, you was a bitch! Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. You know, I, I can see a path of victory for Virgil. I can see a path of victory for Jerome Boots Ennis. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then how do you think they would fare against Bud? Me, I think Bud beats them both. You know, I think uh, I think he stops both of them. I think he stops Virgil Ortiz a little earlier because um, then he stops Boots. I think Boots will probably stop in like 9 or 10 because they both like to engage so far so what we've seen. And then Virgil Ortiz, he likes to engage a lot. So it's not indicative of Virgil Ortiz being better than Boots or Boots being better than Virgil Ortiz. I just think Bud stops Virgil Ortiz earlier because he seems to engage a little more. So I would see, I would say him probably out of there in like seven rounds, I would say, man. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about that. I just love the fact that we are getting more big fights between great fighters you know what i'm saying y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments i appreciate y'all rocking me as always and remember with god we can do anything without god we're nothing the doctor's out peace
From the hood to college, both worlds they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.